a really good afternoon to one and all. Um, a really good afternoon to one and all. I'm Dr. Pallavi Patil, from Modern College of Pharmacy and Degree. With the continuation of the separation of the chromatography, we will see the continuation of the topic. Now, the chromatography is definitely detecting a certain signals. Um, on the what basis? If the chromatography is completely, absolutely on the software uh, design, there are the chromatography manually also we can handle, and there are the also chromatography which is actually nowadays in when uh, this uh, the design in such a way you use a certain software and in this software there are certain detectors are signal detector signaling on what basis they are giving the absorbances they are giving the fluorescence they are reflective indexes now these are given the data versus retention time of the solute what time is taken by the solute on the stationary phase how much interactions of solute with the stationary phase these all are recorded with this chromatography now on this basis of these data the chromatography is also giving a certain good peaks we call as area of that peak and which is exactly depend on the what type of the solute concentrations and quantitatively analysis also the time retention is a very good parameters and on the basis of that this is a hundred percent depend on time retention factors which is very affecting factors for the result then uh, time retention factor is also giving the qualitative analysis they are identify the solute by comparing with the standards the time definitely on the solute spending a certain column retention dependency or the fractions of the time we can also how much fraction of the time the solute spent it in the uh, mobile phase that the solutes move inside the column what time they are required how they mix uh, continuously spread or they forming a certain band they forming a certain uh, different type of peaks which is depend on the time of the solutes and the factors affecting this band whatever we are discussing the last times there is a column and there are different type of color bands the broadness of that is definitely depend on dark color we used whatever the sample is having their different color and the retention time of the solute spent on the stationary phase they both are very dependent now this if you have simply feel that these are the column chromatography and with for this type of isolations you just connect it to the internet with the having a software detectors the computer so this type of two separation you will feel that this is a a type of now these are the two type of different uh, combination the uh, bluish component and the reddish component so these are the isolation now if you are giving the long time for the complete resolution with each other giving an exact time they are just stretch on that because these are not get exactly separated from each other but these are getting a separated very uh, resolution uh, with, between dips and the peaks are coming in this way so these results are very good and these results are not extremely good this is not a bad but from this design, uh, design of this peak you can be improved to the this type of the pattern so this is depend on the retention time how much your compound get retained on your stationary phase and this is here now the retention time is here low and here the highest it's not like that the end of the column you have to give goes on the separations we, generally this type of the area this area the middle area is very good for the resolution of any compounds now the migration of the rate of solute definitely develop which is based on the separation of the solute using a liquid mobile phase immiscible liquid stationary phase liquid mobile phase which is a, a solute dissolved and the mobile phase we are using on the stationary phase but the stationary phase definitely immiscible so on the description of that we will see the popular 
uh, factors that is very you can calculate it easily that is a capital k distribution constant if the solute travel inside a compound with the interaction of the two type of phases stationary phases and the mobile phases in case these two phases are immiscible with each other so you have to find out a certain partial partitioning of the solute takes place on the base of distribution constant how the distribution of your solute in the uh, stationary phase and in the mobile phase let's see on this formula what is the c s is the concentration of solute in the stationary phase this is a stationary phase s represent and the m is represented in a mobile phase now your concentration of solute dissolve in the mobile phase and that mobile phase you are just passing through the stationary phase so definitely the solute interacted with the stationary phase and with the mobile phase and with the equation of this you can find out the distribution of constant the distribution of constants is very very important when you are finding out the pick error uh, gaussians equations or independency of the Uh, injection of the samples. Now these are the time required to the column chromatography. After the injection, after injections means the systems. Uh, if we are considering the computerized, the column column chromatography, liquid chromatography is a one type of manually that is HP TLC plate or the TLC plate. But when you are designing the chromatography on the uh, computerized base so there are the injectable sol sol solvent injectable mobile phase injectable your solute not they are so everything is automatically in the systems and you just uh, inject your sample you have to sample prepared with the mobile phase and the stationary phase already set up in the software so you have to just inject your sample and detector give the retention time the detectors are exactly giving the retention time and the sample is unretain retain how the type of the sample get travel in the mobile phase this all data they are easily giving with the help of the detector and the detector are different type of speed depend on the solute how it move towards the stationary phase so this type of the samples if the sample you are injected here and the detector signals in this now these are the one type of the component and this is the second type of component now this type of component is having a less concentration in your whole sample and this compound is very high concentration in the samples so on the base of the concentration they are giving their peaks this is a very small peak as compared to this it's mean this is a less sample and this is a very high peak it means a high concentration now what is the tm the tm is retention time of mobile phase it, this is the mobile phase run at the tip of your final peak you have to calculate from the start point to the end and here is also same the tp for the second type of the uh, peak so this is a retention time of mobile phase tr retention time of analyte or solute retention time in the stationary phase which is the adjacent retention time this one and this is this one is belonging to this and this is belonging to this and the length of the column so this blue you have to give the length of the column how much it is having a length and how much the mobile phase containing the solute travel through the mobile phase till the end sorry travel to the mobile phase on the stationary phase till the end so on the basis of this traveling they find the length of the column length of the column is particularly automatically set up in the chromatographic systems the mobile phase that you have finalized how much required on the sample the mobile phase selection on the stationary phase selection is definitely depend on the different type of trials on the different type of trials you will get a judgment of how much the mobile phase is needed and which type of stationary phase is good for your separation out now in this way velocity of the solute definitely the traveling if you are uh, counting the traveling the so uh, travel of the solute and the travel of the mobile phase we are calculated in the two different type of the formula 
velocity. The velocity is the distance by the time. Now, distance means the length of the column, and travel uh, times means the retention time. Retention time for this one is this. This is the retention time. We are representing the retention time. This is the um, signal for the detector, and this is retention time is giving for this, which is having a very good concentration of the samples. So the formula is the length of the column upon retention time. Whereas the velocity of the mobile phase, we are designed the length of the column and the time taken by the mobile phase. This, that is, we have to calculate. In this simple way, you can find out the velocity of solute, this v, and the velocity of the mobile phase, this mu. So on these both, they are repetitionally needed for the further calculations of chromatographic uh, situations. So please, student, you remember all these uh, symbolic uh, abbreviations of this um, velocity of solute, velocity of mobile phase, then uh, time of retention time of the mobile phase, retention time of the stationary phase. All these you have to please remember because it will come repetitively in your topic. So how you define the average linearity of velocity of solute now? On the basis of different type of trials, you just find out the average linear velocity of solute which is represented by the L that is the length of column. Then the TR is represented the retention of the time of the solute. So in this way you have to find out or if you find out the mobile phase velocity, so you have to go with the uh, length upon Tm that is the retention time of the mobile phase and the velocity is definitely the fractions of linear velocity of mobile phase. So these both are related to each other. This is depend on the mobile phase velocity. The linearity of velocity of solute is depend on the linearity velocity of the mobile phase. So you feel that this is depend on the mu but the fraction of time in the mobile phase how much the fractions you use the fractions means one and two and three so these type of fractions we are uses so the v is a mu into the solute sorry mole of the solute in the mobile phase upon the total mole of the uh, solute so this represented in a simple way if you are able to calculate this one so how you design in this way how you design in this way? So the Cm is the concentration of a solute in the mobile phase. V is the uh, volume required for the mobile phase. And this is the Cm again. The C is the concentration of the mobile phase and V is the volume of the mobile phase plus the concentration of the stationary phase and volume of the uh, stationary phase. On this formula, you can find out this linearity of the velocity of a mobile phase as well as the uh, linearity of mo mobile phase and as well as the solute of the linearity. These both are, we are easily calculated. So, this is a simple representation of this. You can find out the TR and this from this to this, you can find out the traveling of the stationary phase. The time required, this time you can note down the peak area where so, whenever you start the chromatography, your peak is supposed to be get up. Otherwise, it is, if it is having a broad type of the bonding, banding, so we are not judge what type of the center of the point that you have to select it. So, these are the very simple way to get identify the sample of your compound or solute in your samples. Okay. So, this is the same way. Now, the further we expanded this, the mole, uh, solute of the mole in the mobile phase, in this way, C, M, V, M. So, this is designing in the very simple way. If the both are divided into do, uh, uh, dominator and uh, nominator by the C, M, V, M. So, you are just, by this uh, equation you are divided with the cm vm so you will get this one and when you presented this into the ladies are by the new what were the design we have designed a k you just remember the k formula so 
you are just adding to this V to here and the distribution concentration get easily generated.